What's good guys? It's John. And today I have I have the Line 6 Pod HD 500X. I thought today would be a great day to show you how to record the 500X direct to your computer. That means no amps. We're just going to plug straight in. Let's take a look. So if you've been keeping up with my YouTube channel lately, you know that I've been spending a decent amount of time talking about the 500X. You know, I get a lot of questions. You know, do I need an audio interface? Do I not need an audio interface? Does the 500X have an audio interface in it already? And spoiler alert, the answer to all those questions is yes. The main reason you need to use an audio interface is that you need some way to convert your guitar signal um, into something that your computer can read and understand. And an audio interface is really good at doing that. I use this guy here. This is the Personas Audio Box. It's got uh, two inputs here and it has a couple outputs for like studio monitors or like headphones. It's a pretty cute little dude, isn't it? Now, if you're using an audio interface like this one, you have a couple different options for uh, routing. Uh, the simplest way is to use a standard quarter inch guitar cable. So you take one end of this and you plug it into the quarter inch output on the 500X. And then the other end, you just plug into one of the inputs on the audio interface. The other option you have, and this is the way that I do it, uh, is to use an XLR cable. This is like what you would use for a microphone. And for this, you take uh, one end of it and it plugs into the XLR out on the 500X. And then the other end just plugs into one of the inputs on the audio interface. Now, XLR cables do have two different ends. So you just have to make sure that you're plugging the right end uh, into the right input. Why do I prefer to use XLR cables, you ask? Well, that's because a standard quarter inch guitar cable is what's called unbalanced which means that it has a tendency to uh, pick up noise, especially when you have long lengths of it. So if you are using a quarter inch guitar cable, just try to use the shortest length of it that you can. You can do long cable runs with a balanced cable like an XLR um, while preserving a really clean, clear tone with minimal noise. Now, one of the really cool features about the 500X is that it does have a built-in sound card. That means that it can work as an audio interface just by itself. To use the 500X as an audio interface, you do need an A to B USB cable. I'm gonna take this stupid tag off it because it's always on it. Gotcha. <laughs> These are like your standard printer cable and uh, this more normal looking end, this plugs into your computer and then this more square uh, pe pentagon trapezoid uh, shaped thing. How many sizes does this have? Uh, this end, this is going to plug into the USB uh, port right on the 500X. Now, when you're using the 500X as an audio interface like this, uh, you don't need to worry about any of the other outputs. Okay, so you don't need a quarter inch cable, you don't need an XLR. Um, you do, however, need to make sure that like your guitar is plugged in and the power cable is plugged in. But all your guitar output runs through this USB. Now, the audio interface is only going to send your guitar signal to the computer and you're gonna need some kind of recording software or DAW to actually do the recording. The DAW that you use could be something like GarageBand, Logic, I mean even Sony Acid Music Studio. The point is that you need something to actually do the recording. The DAW that I prefer to use is called Ableton Live. I use this for like everything that I do musically. Okay, so now I'm gonna jump over to my computer, get a little screen grab action, and I'm gonna show you how I uh, get all my settings all arranged so that I can actually hear sound from the 500X. Let's take a look. Okay guys, I'm at my computer. I got my audio box little dude hooked up. Um, I'm running an XLR cable out of the 500X to my audio box, uh, but same deal if you're using a quarter inch cable. This is also the first time that I've ever done like a screen capture, so I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm just using QuickTime and I realized that uh, this records in like four frames a second. So uh, pardon the choppiness and the editing. I'm going to try to make this look as good as I can here. Now I'm looking at the screen and uh, I just have Ableton open right now. Um, let's see here. I like to switch to this timeline view. 
And like I said, I'm using Ableton, but you know, whatever you're using, it'll probably be something similar. And so if you go into your settings, just look for something that says like audio input, devices, routing or something. And you just wanna find uh, the name of your audio interface. So uh, in this case, I'm looking for this audio box USB. I select it. Now, the output is important. Right now it's set for the built-in output. So it's just gonna use like the, um, the internal output on um, the computer. So whatever the computer speakers are plugged into or whatever the headphones plug into, um, it's just gonna use that. You do also have the possibility um, to send the output through the interface again and you can um, use the, like the headphone output or the studio monitor output. You know, if you prefer the quality of the sound card in your audio interface, you can do that as well. Actually, I'm just gonna leave it set for the computer for now. Then what I need to do is I need to arm a track so I can actually, uh, you know, record something. So in Ableton, I just click the little red dot here and this means that it is now gonna receive audio and I hit the, this button so that I can actually monitor it and hear it. Now, once all that's set up, assuming I have all my other cables plugged in properly, I should just be able to hit the record button and uh, make some music. Now let's take a look at doing the same thing, but with the USB cable using the internal audio interface in the 500X. Let's do it. Okay, so now I have my USB cable plugged into the 500X. And to do this, it's really similar to doing like an external audio interface. Um, you just have to make sure that in your uh, input device that you select Pod HD 500X as you're in. And then for your output device, same deal. If you just want to use your computer output, do that. Or you can select the Pod HD 500X and you can run all your output from your DW through the 500X. And then you would like plug in headphones into the back of the 500X um, or do something like that. If you would prefer to do it that way, you can. That was really confusing. So with all that set up, I just arm my track here. And again, it's gonna be different for your DAW. Just do whatever you gotta to do to tell it like, this is the track I wanna record with. If you wanna be able to hear like live monitoring um, as you play, do whatever you gotta to do to make that happen. In Ableton, I just hit auto. Now, one interesting thing when you're using the USB cable is that since all your audio is being sent through it, um, you're gonna be able to have the option to get like a left-right stereo mix. So what you can do is, um, like here I have this drop down and I can pick like, do I want uh, channel one or channel two, or I can do a blend and do channel one and two left, right in the same track. Or I could even do something where in this track, I just have channel one, which would sort of be like the left channel. And then I could also arm um, another track and have it just for channel two, which would be like the right um, output on the pod. And then when I record, if I'm doing a lot of stereo delays and reverbs, um, I can have each track separate um, just to give me a little bit more customizability um, when I'm doing all the editing and things. But it's up to you. The simplest way to do it is probably just record them both into one. And if everything is set up right, I should just be able to hit record and uh, make some more music. Wait. Okay guys, that's how you can record the 500X to your computer. Hopefully you found this video helpful, learned a few things. Uh, if you did, be sure to hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to check out my other videos that are full of helpful tips and tricks with the 500X. And hit the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet. And well, I gotta run. So until next time, see you later. Sawit. 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 Boom.